Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, stopping by for the first time, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. My name's Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. I hope everyone's doing well. It's a beautiful day here in the Hudson Valley. One person starts mowing their lawn and it's like a ripple effect and then the other one and then the other one just makes me realize I'm a little bit behind. Alrighty, I have a brand new Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. Every single item in this video, a buck and a coin, a dollar twenty-five. Every single item in this video came from the same locations throughout the Hudson Valley, which is where I'm currently at right now, and that is in the state of New York. I am so happy to be sitting here in front of all of you. As I have mentioned before, this is my happy place with all of you. I so, so look forward to sitting down and just unwinding with tea or coffee or a beer or a margarita or whatever it may be, and just having some me time where I get to share all my things with all of you. Um, I think you better grab that wish list because there's a lot going on at Dollar Tree and I'm looking around here going, wow, where do I begin? Like I always say. All right, so I'm gonna start off with, I had mentioned that I was noticing at the Dollar Trees that some of the products are having price labels on them. So when I came across this, I was like, okay, so, hmm. Dollar Tree used to be a dollar, everything was a buck. But then I came across this and I'm seeing that this was a dollar. So I kind of fibbed a little in the beginning of my haul, but I figured if I was going under a buck and a coin, that that was a good thing. But if I was going higher than a buck and a coin, then I would definitely have to let you know. So this is a six pack and I'm starting kind of in the um, toilet paper department. But if you have a septic or you run off the septic and if you don't know what a septic is, then you probably don't even have one. Usually septics are more uh, rural areas and things like that. So you have to be careful with your toilet paper. Anyways, this is a two ply, six rolls bath tissue by Smart Care. It's septic safe, but do you see the price up there? At first I was like, is that Dollar General? But no, it's not. It's close, but it's not. So this product was a buck. So we've been hearing that stuff is going up. I was surprised to see something for a dollar and I thought, well, you know what? I'm gonna share it with all of you because anytime you can save anything, I think it's a big deal. All right, so we're gonna jump right out of that department because that's really the only thing I had in that department. So I'm gonna go over to the stationery department. I found a few cool things in the stationery department. They had these doodle journals out, which I thought were really cool. They're by the company called Crown Jewels. If you don't know, they had four different designs out. There's the designs, and I'll break them down for you. They're by a company called Crown Jewels. Crown Jewels is an all-women-owned company. Um, they just, in my opinion, go that extra little, that pop, that, that glitzerazzi fly, um, to make their products look a little bit nicer. So this is the first book. They're very pliable. They're nice-sized books. And when you get on the inside, and I'm going to show you, all the pages have a little something something on them you know yeah you've got the lines for writing and everything but then every page has little hearts and it's just a nice little journal like if you like to sit down and journal or things like that here's the next one in the design and on the inside it's got like all these little spirals and these like it almost reminds me of like fourth of july fireworks going off and it's just that little extra something in the book I have two more to share with you, and that's this one here that says, I love you all over it. On the inside, it has hearts and smiley faces that replicate what's on the front of this book. And then last but not least, they had this one with all these flowers. I love the way this book just pops. And then on the inside, it's just the same that you get on the front. Super, super cute. Alrighty, so let me just tuck those nicely to the side here. Also in the department where you get your books and your pens and your pencils, I found these and I was like, oh my gosh, how cute are these? Now these are made by Jot and it's a booklet of sticky notes and they measure about four and a half inches by three and a half inches. Here is the first one I found. Now these are wrapped in plastic, so they got a little bit of glimmer going on, but they're very, very pretty. So when you open, so this is kind of hard bound. It's all hard bound all over. When you open it up, it has all these different sticky notes. Isn't that cute? 
It's in a little book. You could put that in your purse, um, in a planner uh, container or whatever you use for your planner books. So they had that design. Then they had this design. There's a great shot right there. When you open it up, it looks like this. And these are all separate little sticky tabs. They also had one with these little smiley faces and peace signs. Super cute. And like I said, it does have a plastic wrapper on there. And when you open it up, look at all those purples. I love this one. And last but not least, and Judy, if you're watching my girl out in Watt Falls, look at these, Judy. And these were over at the store that we're always seeing each other at. They're strawberry books. Oh my goodness. I grabbed two because girl, if you go and you can't find them, I got you girl, I got you. So here it is all the way around. I'm actually gonna take um, the wrapper off this one. So hold on. That way you can get a really good look. Where is the wrapper? Here we go. Again, these are made by Jot. And Judy, I have one. Like I said, I got you girl. All right. And there is what it looks like. How cute are these little stickies? And they all have little strawberries on them. How cute, right? So I'm actually, Judy, I'm actually gonna put this in the car. So that way, wherever I am, the car's with me and I'll have it for you, girl. So no worries if you can't find yourself one. All right, they also had, um, actually, let me go over to the party department real quick. Well, not real quick, but let me just buzz over to the party department. I saw this giant gift bag and I was like, oh, this is just too cute. I can do something with this. Um, it is 36 inches by 44 inches. It's made by Voila, but look at it. It's all donuts and cupcakes. When you flip it over, it comes with this little nylon tie. It almost looks like a shoestring. And there's the little, um, yeah, the little gift tag <laughs> that comes with it right there. But look at all the donuts. How fun is that? And you know what? With these, it's a gift bag, yes, but you can do all kinds of things. You can always trim it down, put it over a basket. I use those to cover baskets sometimes. I thought it was cute. They also had these new gift sets, and these are six to a package. They had these purple iridescent colors. How cute are these? I don't know. Every now and then, you get a little something something for somebody, and you don't want to put it in a box or anything because it's just a little something but you wanna put it in a cute little bag, that's me. Sometimes I'll run over to the neighbor's house and I'll have some cookies or treats and I'll just have a little bag like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I do is I'll fold down the sides, put a little fluff in there and then I'll put cookies or brownies and then I'll just bring over a little something, something. Yeah, I could throw it on a paper plate, but I don't know, I'm one for just, I don't know. I always take it to 11, I guess. So I did get two packages of those. They had them in purple, pink, yellow, green, orange, and of course the purple got my eye right away. All right, let's go out of the party department. And I did find a few new things in the hair department. A couple new headbands. These are so pretty. How cute is this? Now these have like a ton of stretch going on. I'm gonna bring them in nice and close. Look at how pretty they are. And this material is actually how can I how can I describe this? It's like a mesh, but then it's got like these faux flower. I don't know. It's hard to describe, but it is so so pretty. They also had it in this beautiful white one. These would be gorgeous for a wedding if you got little bridesmaids or something like that. Little um, you know, little ones going or big ones because this is definitely going to fit an adult. So I grabbed those came across these headbands, which I thought were kind of cool. And sometimes I end up like pulling the headband out and I'll wear it around my wrist. And now I don't feel so bad because these have like little jewelry gems on them. I guess they're not jewelry, but they're like little gems. This is a 10 piece count and these little things move back and forth. So, you know, when you put them on your hair, you got a little something, something. And then they had this one, which was a five piece, but these are a little bit thicker. And then the uh, little golden balls they have on there were a little bit bigger than the gems on this side. But I needed some more hair ribbons because I go through them like crazy. It's amazing where they disappear to. I have no idea. All right, let's go over to the makeup department. Um, but 
I have more like, actually I shouldn't say makeup department, and even though these are in the makeup department, this is more like beauty related, so my bad. Miss Spa found some new cleansing masks. This is also a woman-owned company too, and I wasn't aware of that until just literally now. Deep Clean Facial Sheet Mask, Liquish Licorice Root Extract, helps regulate skin's oil production. So there is that one I grabbed. I also grabbed myself by the same company. This one is Pore Perfect Deep Cleaning Sheet Mask with Tea Tree Oil. I'm hoping it doesn't smell as bad as Tea Tree Oil does. I'm not sure if you've all ever smelled Tea Tree Oil. It works really well. When I had my belly button pierced years ago, um, I ended up getting a little bit of a keloid. And that's usually just a little piece of extra skin. How did I get here? Anyways, tea tree oil. It kind of has a really strong, funky smell. So I'll be interested to see what that smells like. All right, let's get off that now. Um, let's stay with one more item, though, from Miss Spa Extract Pore Strips. You're going to get two butterfly nose strips and four triangle strips. I thought that was kind of cool. You get a little bit of, you know, more than just one little sheet going on. So I grabbed that as well. And then by the same company... I thought these were so cute and I know they are supposed to be for blemishes to cover up your pimples, which, hey, it is what it is. I remember one time I stayed home all day on a Saturday because I had like a pimple right here and I didn't want any of my friends to see me. And I remember my brother-in-law, Tony. Um, hello, Lynn and Tony, my sister Lynn, by the way. I'll, I'll let you know how she's doing. But he had said to me, he had come over to my mom's with my sister and he's like, why are you in bed? Well, I have this cold sore. He's like, are you really staying home because you have like a cold sore? I'm like, yep, I don't want anyone to see me. I think I was like 13 or 14. I wonder if he remembers that. Probably not. But I love you guys and I miss you guys. Anyways, Miss Spa, Star Powered High... What is that word? Hydrochloric... It's not hyaluronic acid because I know how to say that word now. It's hydrochloric... Oh, forget about it, Beth. I'm just going to keep screwing it up anyways. Look at the little stars. They're meant to be put on your pimples. But you know what? They're super cute. They got little stars. And then you see the little rhinestones? So many younger people, older people, whatever it is, whatever trips your trigger, hey, let it roll. Um, We'll put them around their eyes and things like that, you know, when they're doing their makeup. One on their shoulder. I thought they were cute. I grabbed two packages of them. And this is also, again, that women-owned company. So that's pretty cool. All right. I did pick up a couple of new bath bombs. Man, these suckers will knock your eyes out. These are watermelon-scented bath bombs. They're 3.5 ounces. How cute are these? I remember them having these last year. So I grabbed a couple of these. They're about the size... They're just shy of a pool ball, just shy of a pool ball, um, but they're heavy and super pretty. They are wrapped in plastic. When you take the plastic off, yes, it still looks like a watermelon. The plastic does not give you the um, design. The design is on the actual um, bubble, bead, bubble bead. Where is my words today? I haven't had any coffee. Oh my gosh. The actual design is on the bath bomb, not the plastic. Whew, that was hard. The next one, um, these are 3.5 ounces and these are peach bath bombs. How cute are those? Again, they're wrapped in plastic. So if you do take the plastic off, um, you're going to get the scent there. So these are super cute. I showed you yesterday the shells and the mermaid tails and these are just so pretty. I cannot wait to get them um, in my bathroom. All right, to match those watermelon bath bombs that I just showed you. They had these watermelon bath bombs. Now that is a slice of watermelon compared to that. But again, put them on a tray if you don't want to use them. These are just so cute. Put them in a bathroom, you know, stick them on a tray like this or something. I don't know. They're just super fun and they do smell like watermelon. You can smell it. Well, you can't take a whiff, but you probably could someday. Um, they do smell very watermelony, if that makes sense. A word. All right, let's go over to, I did find a couple more pairs of socks. Um, I know a couple of you asked me the sock sizes and I will double check these socks that I have here are no shows. They're sock size nine through 11 and I found some more Mickey Mouse and friends. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? 
absolutely adorable. There is your Minnie Mouse right over there. And then I also found another Snoopy. This one is um, shoe size four through 10, sock size nine through 11. Snoop Dogg, and look at, we even get a bit of Woodstock hanging out there with Snoop Dogg on his house. How cute are those? I have seen in some other YouTube videos, a whole slew of new socks coming out, but instead of them being the long socks, they're being the short socks. Like I showed you the blow pop ones. Evidently there's a whole slew, haven't seen them yet, but when I do, I will definitely share with all of you. All right, I did come across these, which I thought were cool in the beauty department. These are by Be Pure too. Hydrating hand sanitizer, watermelon scented, one fluid ounce. How cool is that container? You just kind of go Ch -ch -ch, and it shoots out right there. Um, you just peel this off the back and it comes off. Again, this one's watermelon. And then I found cucumber mint. How cool, love this mint green. It's so very, very pretty. So I got myself a set of those. I did not, was there any other scents? I don't think so. I think there was just two scents if I remember correctly. I also found next to those Crystal Water Sweet Peony Scented Soap. How pretty is that for somebody in a basket maybe for Mother's Day? I'm gonna take this out of the packaging because the packaging sometimes doesn't do the justice of the product, but sometimes the packaging is just as beautiful as the product. This is soap now. It is all wrapped in plastic. How pretty is that? It's a nice size soap. Again, all wrapped in plastic, so if you wanted to just set it out or if you want people to use it, it's totally up to you. It smells so good. Trust me, it smells so good. The other one I found right next to it is Crystal Waters Cherry Blossom Scented. There is the packaging right there. I'm gonna take it out and share it with all of you. Mm, they smell so wonderful. Oh, how pretty. There it is in the packaging. And let me pop it out for you all. It's a nice size soap and there it is. Oh my goodness, wonderful. So keep your eyes open for those. Again, those are by um, Crystal Waters. Over in the sweets and treats department, there was only two things, but I grabbed one of each. They have the new Jello gummies are back again. Lime blueberry, or excuse me, lime berry blue and strawberry flavored. Oh, yummy in my tummy. Have you guys ever seen what these look like? I'm gonna show you. By the way, this is a, how big is this package? 4.5 ounces. As soon as I open the package, it's like, woohoo! These are so cute, but this is what they look like. If you're wondering, here they are. There's the green one, and they're kind of like, they almost look like little um, worms, kind of, that roll up. Ned, don't you want one of those now? No, but there's kind of what they look like right there. Those are the green. We don't have any blue in here. Oh, here's the blue. They're kind of like all stuck together, but here's like the blue ones. They're super, super soft. They're yummy. If I stick one in my mouth right now, I won't stop. But the next item, I showed you guys one of these products and many of you chimed in and said, oh yeah, those were from back in the day. These I kind of remember a little, but I'm not sure. These are good until July, 2024. Another company by the name of Wise, which is a brand name. These are nacho cheese. 3.5 ounces and these are called new loose screws i'm like oh my god the names that they come up with but anyways it says on the back of the packaging it says it's time to loosen up when did the snack aisle get so uptight boring bland hyperfunctional snacks are everywhere are they turning snack time into nap time luckily for you why snacks loose screws are here to crank it up there they are we have to see what these look like right let's check it out Mm. They smell like Fritos, like Mia's footsies, but there they are on the inside. Here's what they look like. They almost look like barbecued Fritos. Lots of salt. I can only imagine. Um, Wise Foods Incorporated is in Brunswick, Pennsylvania. Lots of salt. Wow, but yummy. I could probably only eat a couple of these. I'd have to drink a beer with it to be honestly, but they are good. All right, everybody. 
I literally still have some more finds to share with all of you. So I'm going to wrap this one up for this time. But I'll be here with another video. Ooh, that's got a little bit of twang in it. Okay. <laughs> this is probably why I don't do taste tests. Because I'll just like poop in front of all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.